Hello, I'm doing a little video about my boats, uh, in, uh, inspired a little bit by uh, Roger Barnes. Uh, you might uh, eventually see this video. Uh, but uh, this uh, it will be a lot less refined than his videos with music at the beginning and uh, all nicely presented. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to show you my uh, my main boat, which is uh, which is called Serum. So I'll turn the camera around. There we are. Uh, she's here in the yard. So this is my nautical activity for the time of our confinement. So she's just staying where she she has been for the whole of the winter. Uh, here's a couple of that's the tow bar of the trailer. With the winch and I have a, a nice little system here of um, the winch being attached to, to this line here which comes back to the uh, to the two cleats uh, to, uh, towards the after the boat and so that uh, that avoids my having to uh, put uh, a ring in the bow of the boat which might uh, cause some kind of um, weakening uh, so I've avoided that problem there and then there's a little uh, bit of rope here uh, from the from the two fair leads holding the the hook at the right height spare tire of the trailer uh, the master here is um, position is bolted into a tabernacle and so the mast can uh, just uh, can just be hoisted up uh, by the forced day and uh here are the two here are the two um, uh, stays at the side uh, at the sides uh, um uh, and uh so the the mast will just uh, can just come up for example if i go under a bridge on a river uh here are the two holes that are down down this is where i put my uh uh my gully stuff in and there's the uh there's the hole in the bow where i can put things in uh here's the mast all all in a mess uh this yard it's it's a, it's a mirror rig over the other side with a sail which is hardly uh hardly roger barnes is um discipline I've, uh, it's a little bit uh, just hanging around uh, these are the hatch covers here that I use to, uh, to cover everything over there's a hole on the other side uh, here's the rudder I'll just move it a little bit out of the way and then you can see things um, I've got to warp some fenders it's all in, it's all in a bit of disorder um so there's not very much i can do about that uh this funny little thing here is for when i transport the uh the outboard engine in the in <coughs> the boat uh, to go somewhere uh i'll try to uh shelter the camera from the sun as we're looking towards the west that's the uh that's for the the uh outboard engine and here uh, you can see the name of the boat Sarum. Uh, the pintles for the rudder and the system on the trailer. I ha have just used a, a big wooden beam and has rollers. Uh, there are three rollers there under the boat and uh, the boat just uh, slides off and on just nicely for launching uh, so i take the boat all the way to the water at the bottom of ramp uh, with the car and uh, i can just launch the boat very easily so there's not an awful lot else there's a uh there's, there's a bit of space uh, at the stern um under the uh uh well that, that's uh, that's called the lazarette and then I have two planks here. Um, just move the rudder a little bit. Uh, these two, this plank and the uh, another one on the other side, 
can be moved to the middle and that provides my my bed for when I'm camping. Right, well we're going to go along in, into the backyard. So down these steps here, this is the trailer for the other boat. Uh, it's just uh, lying there. Now then, here's, uh, here's Sophia, uh, still under, um, under a tarpaulin. And I'll show, I'll do another little video about this boat and its, uh, and its, um, uh, and its sprit rig. So now I'm going to go into the shed here. This is where I have my kingdom. I'll just open the door. Uh, go in here and put the light on. Uh, it'll make it a little bit easier to see things. Uh, there's the there's the um, the outboard engine. Uh, two po uh, two point six uh, horsepower four stroke engine. Uh, so far I found it very reliable. I've changed the oil since the winter and uh, run the engine in a in a dustbin full of water to uh, to see if uh, see if it would start. No problem. It just started just beautifully. Uh, there's a there's a boy for 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 a mooring. Um, I've got some I've got some charts here. Uh, uh, along here, some maps and a couple of charts I found I found on the internet. Uh, this one is of the the Rad de Brest, which is at the extreme end of Brittany. Uh, I go there every two years for the uh, um, uh, just to sail there and also to um, to go on the Route um, de Sable. And this is the Golf du Morbihan. Every two years there is the uh, Semen du Golf, which is a wonderful uh, time that uh, we s I spend with many, many, many other uh, amateur mariners. Various bits and pieces for the galley. Binoculars, uh, uh, gas, uh, gas tanks, bits and pieces. Uh, bits and pieces for the engine and then this is where I have various materials for uh, hull repair, uh, elastics, flags, halyards, a lens for my lens tent so if I want to sleep ashore rather than in the boat. Uh, then I have various tools, uh, uh, f uh, onboard tools for the engine, spare parts um, and uh, this is a little safety box with uh, with my flares. Uh, that's just a block of wood. Uh, these are the flares that uh, uh, that are used as a last resort uh, if my VHF radio is not working. Uh, I'll take these um, these charts off. And uh, these these are two little boxes that I that I load aboard, and uh, one just holds a few a few uh, a few bits and pieces uh, connected with navigation. And this is my main navigation box, as I call it, my uh, my PHF radio, um, a bearing compass. Uh, there's a little light for the top of the mast, uh, a little transistor radio to get the news, uh, and uh, various uh, various compasses. There's a torch there. See if the battery works. Yes, it all works. Still, it's uh, it's got a bit rusty. Uh, and uh, ship's horn. Uh, there we are. Uh, fire extinguisher. Uh, I usually find a place for that uh, in one of the the uh, the four compartments because as I have an engine, uh, theoretically, the engine could catch fire and uh, I'd need something to put the fire out. 
unless I just use a bucket of water, uh, sea water to, to put the fire out, which might not be very wise in some in certain cases. <coughs> but uh, uh, there's a, a pile of petrol down here. Oh, yeah. And that, uh, that one hasn't been shut. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, this is all, this is all very, very much in a mess. I'm still tidying my workshop at the moment. So, uh, this is, uh, it's just a few tools, screws, bits and pieces, a workmate, various things. So, uh, that's, uh, that's about it for my little kingdom. There's a few, uh, a few boxes containing things for the galley and uh, tents, uh, uh, covers, uh, and uh, be my boat tent somewhere. Oh, it's down at the bottom in that in that grey cloth bag. Uh, that's the boat tent that goes over the boom. So there we are.